Hey, Paul. Hey, Chris. Got him. Hey, Mosquito. That was a good intro right there. It was, and cut. <laughs> no, that's fine. It's like fruit flies or something. No, that's how you know what, what you can cut the next the next one in. After you, after oh. you uh, it actually the, um, the clacker. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, hey, welcome to Building Up To It. The Paul watch is over for now. <laughs> and... Uh, I, it's a, the the Paul watch is over because now we can watch so much more of what's in your workstation there, including yeah. food that you're hitting with your Excellent. new camera. I got them and I'm proud of that. <laughs> yeah. So uh, if we're going to go into it, hair in my mouth. So off to a great start. If we're going to go into it, I got a new webcam. I got this mic rig so you can hear me all over the place and not in one place. <laughs> and that's it. I. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get any Lego, I don't think. It's just the, the normal trade-ins. I did have uh, one bin that came in, and it was about 20 pounds. And I could see, because they bring in a bin, and I get another bin, and I tear the weight on the scale for the bin, and then I pour their bin into my bin so they can have their bin back if they want it. And it's an accurate weight. In that process, I do get to see like everything as it falls from one bin to the other. And I know that about half of this bin... Maybe a third to a half of this bin was Halo Mega oh. Block, or Halo Mega Constructs, because it's just this big old. It is probably um, a ghost because it was a lot of purple and gray, like a lot of purple. It's either a wraith or a ghost. Um, no, I'm sorry, not a ghost, a phantom. Losing my cred, man. I got all these yeah. fucking Let's books. Go. Let's right take here. a picture of the book. Which one are you talking about exactly? The phantom, <laughs> man. The ones that look like a teardrop or something the ones that the ones that look like a cashew yeah, a full a cashew back. the ones that look like a full cashew <laughs> not in its shell cashews have shells <laughs> i'm sure right i think when they uh here on nut talk <laughs> not enough to it <laughs> no maybe not <laughs> <laughs> come on paul settle down uh and and I gave I held up forty bucks because I'm like it's twenty pounds, two dollars a pound. Here's forty bucks. So like, and this was like a real, just came out of the junk shop and try trying to score some money. Like you can't give me any more for all this. I'm like, well, about half of this isn't Lego. I said half of this is Mega Blocks. I was like, what's that? I'm like another brand. The only thing we could do with it is donate it. So they took the $40 because it always pays to put the cash in their face before they've really made the decision. And, so and we went, this is it. <laughs> it's probably that it's a lot of purple with some gray for the interior, unless it's multiple sets, but it's got a lot of curves to it. So I feel like it's probably a phantom. Right, that's the Phantom, right? The picture you just looked at? Yes, yes, correct. I'm losing, I'm losing it right now. <laughs> Eyes up, Phantom's <laughs> back. The other one. So the so the drop ship in the first Halo, which is in the rest of the Halos too, but it's like the only ship you see in the first Halo. I don't know how many Halo games you played, but the drop ship, I always forget its name because they gave it one of those a synonym of a ghost names specter or something like that it's not the specter because that's a different one but so <laughs> it's no they, they anything that is the same as ghost or like apparition except for the word apparition because that'd be a weird ship name but anything like that they've used as a vehicle name for the covenant and they didn't use a name for that ship in the first game it was just like that's the drop ship whatever but then as of the second game they have them named but i'm just it's it's kind of like our droidica destroyer droid conversation <laughs> where it'll always just be the drop ship i don't care if you tell me it's the i wish i could remember what it was oh <laughs> I, I'm going to have to look it up at some point. That's what I'm going to have to do. But anyway, we got through that bin and, and we have two bins now. It's like the stuff that's the Halo stuff and then there's everything <laughs> else and where it went. And so I could see the, the final volume and weight of what wasn't Lego in there. So we have a whole bunch of that stuff to donate. And that's how that'll go. 
Um, Kenny, do you play? Uh, do you play Halo? No, I never did. He's the PlayStation boy. I am too. So, so I can't help there. Or neither can Kenny, I suppose. I, I, I'm a franchise fan. I don't care what platform it comes out on. I have the franchises I like for PlayStation, and I have the franchises I like for Xbox, and I play them both. Is it the Spirit? Yes, I think it's the Spirit, but it was like retroactively named. <laughs> Unless it was always named the Spirit, but they just never call it that in the game, and like in the 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 developers called it called it the Spirit because that's what its name was. But outside of the development team, nobody would know what it's called. It's the dropship. Come on, <laughs> but they have the the Specter, the Ghost, the the Revenant, the all of them, all of them. And that's your gaming corner. <laughs> gaming yeah. corner. I have like the next book comes out in October. They've actually taken a real slowdown in the last couple years on the Halo novels, which was kind of my opportunity to catch up because I'm about 10 books behind. I have them all, but I'm about 10 books behind in reading them. And the next one comes out in October. There's no more planned after that. And this was the only one this whole year. So I still have time to catch up unless they start coming fast and furious again. But who's got time to read, man? I've got I've got 34 Gundams to build over here <laughs> and five more in the mail. Coming soon to Off the Runner near you. I need to do more Off the Runner. <laughs> got to get that. You got to get those those views on the on the you're building them anyway. You might as well get some views on them. That's how. I feel about a lot of my life is like if I were to be live streaming this, I would make more than no money on it, <laughs> but it will slow me down. So what are you going to do? I guess in recent news, I've been making that it would slow you down. It's well, I, I was uploading parts today and I was watching a movie on YouTube because I love the YouTube free movies section because they just put all kinds of random stuff on there. I was watching. <laughs> it's a mad, mad, mad world. Yeah, from, 19, from 1963. That's a that's a dust kind of movie, I think. Maybe, but I was watching that, and I I was listening to it rather. I know it was slowing down my process, so <laughs> I don't know. I, I finished ETR and Breaking the Mold, and I'm like, uh, what am I gonna do now? There's no new uh, um, there's no new Nine Club until tonight. It's like live right now. I'm glad they do two shows a week now, if not three. That's a skateboarding podcast. Yes, I don't even know what that is. That's a pretty, pretty huge uh, skateboard podcast interview show thing. Anyway, uh, so we had. Did you get anything? Had, did you get anything this week? <laughs> yeah, Kenny. Um, you can say no. For both of us, it was no. I all yeah, I almost got the it's like the two race cars and uh, speed oh, champion. That, that's a mom chair right there. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. You know, it was. It, it wasn't the speed champions. It was like a. It was they were on clearance at Walmart. It was like just the two city. There's like they're like thirty dollars. Oh, I think I know the one. Yeah, and then they have they have the the one where it's the the cop car and like the robber, and then they have the two race cars, and they're like. Same and size the, the two race cars, it's like they're on a, like a banked uh, racetrack kind of thing. So it's at an angle. I uh, think on the they, box, they, they are. which is super, super nostalgic. If we're going to talk about <laughs> 90s, uh, two race cars in one set sets, the, the, the box art, instruction art, whatever, was always them on like the banked <laughs> curve of uh, like an indie track where it's it's banked. So it's like the two of them racing the neck and neck. Who's going to win? It's the that, that yeah. part. <laughs> yeah. So I, I really like that. They, they gave it the same angle when it could have easily been flat or I don't know. Maybe that's the, the only angle that looks good. Who knows? <laughs> you got to get them both and make it so that you, people realize they're the same size, I guess. You know what I'm tired of? I am tired of selling all the instructions that I list. <laughs> on my bricklink store. I keep listing instructions and I keep selling them. And it's always like 
can you ship this one instruction book to the middle of Europe? I'm like, ah, all right, I guess so. <laughs> if I have to. You'll get there in three months. A lot of them, a lot of them email me first. And like, how much would this cost if you shipped it as a letter? I'm like, I, I, like three bucks. I guess I can get you this as a letter for three bucks, but just, uh, I don't like shipping instructions. I don't like selling instructions, but they sell. So what am I going to do? I was going to say, you know, there's a solution to that. If you really don't like it, just don't put any more up. <laughs> but some of them are like $20. This, then, then it's part hey man, part 20 part. bucks is 20 bucks the magnet core magnetizers instructions i found for 40 bucks the that older it lucky. is the bigger it is the more money it's going to be but instructions really don't go up in value for like 10 years i was pretty surprised at how much they were i didn't think they'd be quite that much because with the fact that you can i mean i guess it's just the fact that you have them because I was like, cool, if I get one without instructions, but it's like complete or whatever, I'll just look them up. And I was like, oh, cool, I'll just see like how much they are. And it was forty dollars, and I was like, oh, Kenny, you're you're paying you're paying somebody who's taken care of a packet of paper for as long as I've been alive. <laughs> it's on his bookshelf. How much? They're really cheap. Like, how like much the, does it cost? To dollar. take care of some paper for as long as I've been alive. <laughs> like they, these instructions somehow are in better shape than like my than we uh, <laughs> birth certificate or my um the, what are the shots the shots uh, immunizations immunization records like that I have all them and they're like you know they're getting yellow. <laughs> <laughs> and and these instructions are minty, crispy, fresh. They're yeah. stored in packaging the dust would know about. <laughs> and the mylar twos or whatever. Whatever. I I keep hearing dust bring up Kenny Kenny's name uh, in ETR, and he's like, I missed that guy, and I just keep wanting to say, he's on my show like every week. Like <laughs> you could you could see him, you could talk to him. He's here like every week. He's not disappeared. Yeah, Kenny's been the, the, the most stable guest host uh, to this summer than, than any of us. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, what I would do personally, I would download those instructions for free and then print them and bind them at like a FedEx Kinko's. And it cost me like $6. That's what I would do if I really cared. Yeah, well, shout yeah. out to Kinkos for like slipping their name in there and still like being part of the name. There's no reason that they their name deserves to be on the sign still with like who bought who and the mergers and all that. But shout out to them for going. You know what? Remember my name. Yeah. Well, to be fair, that like the the the, the service that I just described is certainly not a FedEx service. It's definitely a Kinkos leftover. So that's why I said FedEx Kinkos because. You don't go to FedEx to get things bound. You go to Kinko's for that shit. You do it at the, the UPS store as well. Itself? What's that? Yeah, was Kinko's Kinko? is by itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In fact, the, the FedEx location closest to me used to just be a Kinko's, and that's what I knew it as. Mm -hmm. And now it's like a FedEx with copy machines. It's a, it's a Taco Bell KFC. The Taco Bell KFC near me kicked out their kicked out their kfc recently they're like you know what we don't even serve your shit after 10 p.m so once you get the fuck out that's true and, that and, that. <laughs> and now it's just a taco bell and now it's only and, half the menu at taco bell <laughs> and the other kfc near me is is dog shit they're they're awful so <laughs> i no longer know where there's a kfc not that i need it in my life but i no longer know where i'm gonna find one if i need one i haven't had chicken in months <laughs> There's a Popeyes closer to me than a KFC. Like what? <laughs> I need to find Raising Canes. Oh, this is oh, Canes down the street from me. Did, did we tell that story on the air? I don't I know. I go there. We go there at least weekly. <laughs> it's a it's a quick one. So Kenny and I are in Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville, Louisville, Kentucky for for Botcon in 2016. I was there. And, oh, we didn't know you, Paul. I know. I, I, I've i mentioned this, to, I think, to Kenny before. But yeah, I was actually there. <laughs> well, there's plenty of people who I know now who are probably there. 
yeah. Oh, that yeah. Was the, uh, that's that's what's his name? Uh, the Rodimus year, right? What's it? I can't think of his name. Judd Nelson. Oh yeah, yeah. Judd Nelson, Airhead. Yeah, he sat, yeah. He sat next to us at the bar. Dude, I was. You, you know what I've been thinking. You know what I've been thinking about a lot lately is the fact that we tried to take a photo of him while sitting next to him at the bar. Like, how fuck is that? <laughs> I did seek a photo. <laughs> That's hilarious because that like means I, I was staring at you guys at some point because I was right by him. I wasn't with him in his pocket, but I was in like the, the pod right next to it, uh, yeah. kind of watching him there. <laughs> I thought he was like this homeless guy that happened to have like an Autobot hat on because he was like growing his hair all out for like a role, probably. Yeah, it was like when um when what's his name. Oh gosh, no, I can't think of his name. Joaquin Phoenix, like that one, that one time where he ended up on was it like Leno or or whatever, whatever talk show, when he looked like homeless. It was yeah. like that. <laughs> then at the end of the interview, Letterman's like, "Well, uh, Joaquin, I wish you were here tonight." <laughs> <laughs> what a great time for me to freeze up. As he's back. That's okay. We 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 continued on. <laughs> you told the story. No, I didn't tell the story. You're you're better at telling the story than me. So. Okay, okay. Well, I was what I was saying before it froze, and then the the mic stand started slipping. Was that um, I, I've been thinking about this a lot lately. How fucked up was it that we were sitting next to him at the bar, and then like we tried to like angle our my phone and like take a picture of him sitting next to us at the bar while sitting next to him at the bar? Like that's <laughs> that's not cool. <laughs> Especially not not like nowadays, it, it would it, he could have he could get mad and be justified at being mad. Like back I, then, it I, wasn't quite as crazy. I, I shouldn't have done that, but whatever. Um. Anyway, we're we're in Kentucky and we're just kind of wandering around. We got like brunch before going to the show one morning. We got a full breakfast at like this little breakfast, nice little full breakfast. breakfast at this like. It looks like they converted the sunroom on the front of a house into a restaurant kind of yeah. kind of cafe. Cafe is the appropriate word to use here. And then I, I something didn't uh, I, was it the record store we we're trying to go to it wasn't open yet. So we, yep, we were going to record store and it opened at like 10 and it was like quarter of or something. So we decided to walk up and down the street that we were on just in the middle of the suburbs of Louisville and we saw a Raisin Cane's, which apparently is like a chicken fast food place that Kenny has heard of in his dreams. And <laughs> Kenny lost his mind. He's like, it's Raisin Cane's. We got to go. And Eric and I are like, did we not just eat a full breakfast? <laughs> Kenny, Kenny, Kenny goes in. We all go in. Kenny goes in. He orders a full on Raisin Cane's combo meal and eats the whole thing. And we look at him like, how are you eating another meal right now? And he goes, it's Raisin Cane's. <laughs> the cane sauce is delicious, man. Cane sauce, yeah. My my friend went in and like he had never heard of them, and he was like, "Oh, do you have barbecue sauce?" And like every employee like stopped what they were doing. And was <laughs> the <record's> <laughs> we have we have cane sauce. It's cane sauce. <laughs> yeah, my my wife knew about it before I did, and so um, like we used to. There, there were a couple that were in, like. Within within a half an hour, but they're like twenty five minutes away, and we we had gone a few times, but they're just too far to go on a regular basis. And then they literally opened one, like a block and a half away from us. So we go there at least once a week. <laughs> I, so I, I don't think I've ever seen one again since then. It's I tell you what, me. I just drove an hour to go to Arby's yesterday because what, the, <laughs> what did you get? That's the closest Arby's Meat to me. Mountain. Like who who wants the Arby's there? Like they must what you must have gone for something specific to drive an hour. So what I just is beef and cheddar? He, just, he, he, just, he really loves their anime themed paper art Instagram <laughs> account. He Dude, loved it more than life itself. Their marketing is amazing. Like that <laughs> that shit is is awesome. They do a great job with. They it. just hired like one crafty college student, and that's all it takes. Agreed. Uh, I, I don't doubt that. I, I don't uh, question so, that. <laughs> interestingly enough, the only Arby's that I know of is right next to that Taco Bell that kicked out its KFC. <laughs> and it's always been there through all kinds of other fast food coming up and going away around it. It's always been there. And I've been in there like once, maybe. Like up until last year, we had one over by over by my, actually by my old office that had like the the huge like sign looks like a hat like the, the the big big neon sign and it finally closed down like I think this year. The last was, time I was at an Arby's was 
we're on our way to Christmas at the Pinkertons. And we were <laughs> oh, we, got, <laughs> we got to we got to Mount Airy early and we didn't want to show up that early. So we're like, well, we could eat something. We haven't eaten yet today. So we went to this Arby's and I, I think it was like it was either on Christmas or on Christmas Eve or something like that. Because man, everything was dead. We go in there. There's we're the only people in there. The the manager comes over and just starts talking to us about sandwiches because he's got nothing to do. <laughs> he wanted to know all about how we like this new sandwich because he hasn't had it yet or something and it's new. And I'm like, it's just it, I mean, it's it's like four meats at once. Like, how could I even give you a review of this thing? It tastes like I'm eating your whole menu. Done. The the meat saya. Or whatever. Yeah, so, I, I, park I, park. I, the I meat don't remember tornado. what it was called. <laughs> the meat tor- you, you had me at meat tornado. <laughs> I don't remember what this one is called, but uh, it was all the meats and it was fine, whatever. And then we went to Pinkerton's and it Ving screwed Ring. up. And then um, the, uh, the Olive Garden screwed up the catering. Ah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was the one. I went to a New Year's and a Christmas at Pinkerton's. I don't remember which one was which as far as the trips because they're both a couple of years ago and they were different years whatever all right that's our <laughs> story time with kenny prime um i i i know i i realize and i'm fully aware that all the comments this week are going to be about raising canes and there's nothing i can do about it because it's fucking awesome i hope they have a shirt that says that so <laughs> Without further ado, now that Paul's here, we can look at 35 ideas <laughs> hopefuls. What are we calling them? Hopefuls? Noms? <laughs> Is noms? noms I like that. It's Hashtag. time for noms and nods. <laughs> right. Noms. I, I, oh. hate, I hate the idea of nods. Like, I didn't get a nomination, but we're looking at you. Just. <laughs> no, no, don't don't even try to give it a name. Nods. All righty. So let me share real quick. As uh, as Chris had alluded to, we are at a record breaking thirty five Lego product or Lego ideas potential products that are going through to the uh, review phase, and uh, that could be worth a conversation in and of itself. But I don't know if we want to get there now because we have thirty five different projects to to give our thoughts on and see if any of these are going to have a, a chance in hell of being produced. All right. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep a note of what we the, think the consensus is. Yeah. yeah. Ken, <laughs> Kenny is taking notes on this one. So I, I think like- for each one, we'll look at it briefly and then we'll each give a, I think that'll be made. I don't think that'll be made. I guess that's it really. The yes or no <laughs> on each one. Do you like? Do we want to? Should I drill into like? Are we good with just this main product picture here? Yeah, the main the main photo and the title is fine. Sounds good. All right. So the very first one we have in here. These are in no particular order, by the way. At least as far as I can tell. Uh, they, they yeah. have, all thirty five made it into the into the review phase, and all of them have just as much uh, chance as anything else. Um, so at is least this uh, is this Zelda Take Five? <laughs> the Mountain Windmill by Han was yellow first. Um, that could be a very specific Lego minifigure um, callback name, which if, if that's the case, good for him. That's a good one. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know if this is actually from Zelda. Now I kind of uh, want. Not, to look. I, I, I thought I, I thought maybe it was. Sorry, we're drilling, in. we're drilling in to see if this is if Chris is spewing shit or if this is real. I don't think so. I think it's just a windmill, like just a like. I when I look at this, I think of like the treehouse. Something along those lines. Uh, this, this is totally like the same Zelda project, just minus Link. <laughs> yeah. Take out Link, resubmit it. Now it's not licensed anymore. <laughs> so what we have here, well, hopefully you're not listening to this because there's going to be a lot of pictures that we're showing. Um, but if you are, it's a it's kind of a dilapidated mountainside windmill. Um, kind of lot, lots of Where, kind of... Where's the mountain? Right in, in the background. Oh, okay. thought, it's not it was, what it's built on because you can see right through it. So I th- I see this as like the top of the mountain and like, oh, so the, like the, the peak like next to it. That could okay, be. So it's two peaks. 
Yeah, I just was looking at the mountain in the background of the shot. It's just <laughs> that's purely true. Photoshopped. It's not actually anything to do with the build. <laughs> Dude, that is, that's that's a bona fide Windows background right there. <laughs> you can put this up and, and submit it. Hashtag Rumble Collectors, and we'll see if Jose will pick your picture on Enter the Realm this week. Um, so yeah, this is um, actually the model itself isn't bad. It doesn't look like it's a very large model, so it, it, it would probably clock in somewhere in the fifty sixty dollar range, I would imagine. Um, but it looks like it's just the it's just the facade. It's just the the front half of it, basically. It looks like there's nothing in the back. That's um, a no for me. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm not crazy about it. If they if they filled it out, maybe. But uh, but no, I don't really have a place for this one. I think yes. There you go. So Kenny, now, Kenny, yeah. the, Kenny, this isn't. Would you buy it? It's. Do you think they're gonna make it? No, I know. I I, I think there's an actual chance on this because it is. You know, there's no license to it or anything. They can obviously tweak it, you know, size wise. I like to me, it looks like it's more than sixty dollars. Just looking at like the. All pieces. right, Kenny, put it in the ledger. <laughs> Next. <clears throat> Next one is one that I would love to get made, but but who knows if it will? Probably not. Community Greendale Community College. This is the uh, crap. What do they call the room? The study room. That's the study room. I couldn't think of the word study. Uh, this is the study room from Community. Wait, is it? Now I'm second guessing it. I think you're right. Uh, this one is made by Bulldozer or designed by Bulldozer. It's actually pretty accurate and pretty solid representation of the study room. Uh, you're, uh, yeah, that's correct. That sounds right. Um, all the minifigures are also included. Um, I'm sure if we drill into it, you can get more detailed minifigures. Um, I but... am Brutalitops. This is the magician. <laughs> it is. It even has the, the the detail of like there's the, there's a little vent in there where hopefully there's a monkey inside. The monkey, of course, named Penny's boobs, um, where he would go in there and he would steal shit uh, and put stuff there. It looks like Abed has right. a video camera, all that kind of stuff. I so the whole thing so for the first time ever the whole thing's in one place unless you count like DVDs it's all on Netflix the 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 NBC the CBS the Yahoo whatever <laughs> other channels it was on it's all on Netflix at once and I still don't want to watch past season three oh see so so that that's unfortunate because because season four is the the gas leak season um i think it is but the ones on the, the yahoo plus seasons were actually really good but at that point no one really cared anymore which is the problem um and uh it's just they, the, the quality of them was just as good as it was before because it was back to dan Armin. Um there's all these shows that are just i don't want to watch them past three like workaholics <laughs> goes downhill after three community <laughs> goes downhill after three new girl goes downhill after three just the first three. That's it. <laughs> Scrubs. Scrub stays pretty solid. <laughs> I say no, no community. No. Um, I think I don't. I don't think it'll get made. I wish it would, but I know it got submitted because hey, Friends got made. Hey, Seinfeld got made. So here's a, yeah, I, I agree. It's not going to get made. So that's a no across the board. But so they they think there's precedent here. They think well, Seinfeld and Friends and Big Bang Theory. All okay, got made, about that one. <laughs> but all three of those shows are way more recognizable than Community. I was say those are three of the biggest shows ever. Yeah, they yeah. They, they are, and they were. All, I'm not sure about Big Bang, but but for sure the other ones coincided with, or or, or are coinciding with an anniversary of some sort of the show. So they're going every, out every ten minutes is an anniversary of something. <laughs> you just gotta. It's what well, Kenny, what was that shit? It's it's the eighth anniversary of the second Transformers movie. <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of that. This is the this is the anniversary of the minifigure. This is the anniversary of when they patented the minifigure or whatever some bullshit. This is like the anniversary that. of Technic. This is the anniversary of the brick. This is the anniversary of Duplo. It's like, all right, we get it. You yeah. have history. So yeah, unfortunately, with community, we all n neither of us think it's gonna get produced. I would love it if it would, and I would certainly buy it, but I don't think it's gonna get made. Hey, I I like community over Big Bang Friends or Seinfeld, but I don't want any of them. But it is actually funny because uh, Community, of course, had the had the one the the one episode where Omar from The Wire came out and said, "What happened? What's up with Lego nowadays? <laughs> it's so much. It's so complex now." And so much more complicated. Back in my day, it was just simple. Now it's Harry Potter Lego. There's Star Wars Lego. <laughs> all that stuff. That's a very good point. All right, next one. Lego Hero Quest by King Glorious Squirrel. This is uh, a board, board game? 
Yeah, so it, it looks very well done, but this is not going to get made either. Lego will never return to board games. Yeah. Right. Like, what was what were their board games called? It wasn't Hero Quest, but it was Heroica. Oh, uh, that's it, Heroica. So this is too close to that. Plus, even though, uh, if you look at the current slash upcoming wave of Ninjago, it is Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. Interesting. That's kind of cool. If you haven't looked at it, Paul, you should. We should maybe look at that in an episode. The, the new wave of Ninjago is a tabletop game. Oh, I didn't, I, didn't, got, I didn't realize that. It's got dice, and it's got little, like, potion racks, and it's got weapons, and it's got, like... Spaces that they move on. Spaces, like, like yeah. I don't know what you call that outside of, like, Monopoly, shoots and ladders, whatever, spaces. Because the little, the little like, spin guy thing is a dice now. Yeah, huh. that's it. The uh, the, the tornado yeah. spin jitsu thing is is a six-sided die in itself. <laughs> that's, is it a buildable die? Like, they haven't... They no, no, it, it's like this, uh, it's, instead of round, oh. it's a hexagonal, but it's this inverted cone. You put the figure in, and I guess you, you spin it, and whatever side is kind of up, <laughs> whatever side is upright enough is the one <laughs> unless it's whatever one's down i mean you could play either rule i guess but it, yeah the, the current wave is D and down. it's pretty uh pretty interesting so that, is that, that why that, like they're so like the, the the sets all seem super detailed now like all, all the ones that i've seen like in stores the newer ones like they're all way more detailed than they used to be like they're they're, they're very not complex but like check check it out it's Man, check what happened in Ninjago? They used to be so simple. <laughs> check it out the next time you see it. The one that's got like the big skull, like yeah. the, the mountain. That one's like the like the biggest board game piece anyway. Like the rest oh, of them. I see it though. Yeah, just, oh, just, and they all connect just like the Mario sets. Fucking Mario. God damn it. <laughs> oh. Ooh, Kenny. Can you save that till next week when we need a topic? <laughs> you remember what Kenny said. <laughs> Fucking Mario, indeed. All right, so that's Hero Quest. Hero Quest is a no across the board for the three of us. Yeah, they, they're doing a thing, and they've already done board games. <laughs> Next one, Brick West Studios by Bricky Brick. Um, so it looks like it is a yeah, it's, it's your Western set, but it is a, a movie set. Um, uh, very, very distinctly because they actually have video cameras and production trucks and all that kind of stuff Why are they around. Trying to do everything at once. If it did one, if it did just the Wild West, it'd be cool. I agree. It's a Wild it West, and it's a movie studio, and you have the back lot, and also there's a Seven Eleven across the street, and <laughs> like, and, whoa, guys. <laughs> and actually, it's just the whole city. Here's craft services and <laughs> makeup. Uh, so yeah, I think this is trying to do too much. Though I, I, I get the idea. I, I'm assuming they wanted to differentiate themselves and say like, oh look, you can do more than one thing if you want just the Western stuff. You can do that. But here you got all other stuff too, so you can your the, the play value increases by two or three. I wonder but if it's I, the same person who submitted the uh, the modular Western town idea a few years ago. And they're they're just remodeling their their idea to see if there's any like another way they can get through. How about one building yeah, and yeah. also an entire crew? Yeah. So I think unfortunately this is gonna there's there's too much going on in this now. I can't like say if it's one or the other. It might be it might be one thing, but because it's too many things at, at once, it's not gonna get made. So we like can that. do some vote changes at the end, but I like this one at a time going in blind. So you might reach the end and you have said no to all of them. It's a possibility. <laughs> yeah, I've got them and all written down. So far, and that's so. a possibility for Lego as well. To so everyone says no. Yeah, they, they, they've done that many times. Actually, where nothing gets through. And then it's sad, but now with, with so many projects that get greenlit or not greenlit, but they get approved, then then who knows? Now it it's not quite as special anymore. Was the next one oh. is the House from Up by Bramant One. No. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I I think you're right though. I think it's a no. Uh, if, if they're gonna do a Disney property, they're gonna do their they're gonna do it on their own. They're they're not gonna do a Lego Ideas Disney property. Yeah. I'm writing no for you guys before you even say it. Like I just know. <laughs> That's the way it it's is. Pretty, it's a pretty good design, but uh, I wonder it looks if there's wild. anything in Lego's contract with Disney that they wouldn't be allowed to give away one percent to some third party who who submitted the idea just because it's part of Lego's ideas system. Disney be like, uh, no, <laughs> no. 
<laughs> but then, of course, you could look back at some of the other ideas, projects that are Disney owned. and Dis Disney's saying exactly what we're saying right now. No. <laughs> I think it's more of a Lego pride thing. Like we, we'll do, if we're going to do this, we're going to do our own. We're not going to use your idea. That's why I'm going to say I'm, no, because it's supposed to be airborne. And I, I just don't see how they're going to display that said airborne. You wouldn't, obviously. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't. <laughs> Next one. Animal Crossing New Horizons Nook's Cranny by Micro Model Maker. Uh, and that like, game yeah. is already old news. No. Yeah. This is this is a, a no. It got real popular. Uh, it was real unless, popular for a while, which is why I got you submitted that project like three years before the game came out. It's not going to line up. Yeah. So the game, the game is still really popular with the people that play it, but nobody, everybody's playing it or bought it. So it doesn't like... They they have their their license with Nintendo now, and I wonder if this is them. You don't know how extensive that is. Everyone's saying, "Oh, you know, we're gonna get Donkey Kong. We're gonna get we're gonna get all the things. We're gonna get I, Zelda." I, but I, you, it might just be Mario, and that's it. And it's not even like figures. It's all construct pure construction sets. So I doubt that they're gonna do anything else Lego. But if they do. I could see them sticking just with, you know, doing different Mario things, you know? So I, I don't know at this point, uh, I don't think they'll do anything more. If anything, from a business standpoint, they are, they have far more recognizable and popular properties than even though this is super hot right now, it's super hot right now because we're in quarantine. Uh, like uh, Zelda would be a much bigger property. There's, Zelda, there's a lot of stuff that was super hot because of quarantine that, might not have been as popular if people uh, like were still TikTok. living their lives. <laughs> so I could see them TikTok. <laughs> I could see them going a Zelda route down the road if they keep a good relationship. I could see them going with minifigures doing Zelda as their castle theme. I could you know that's actually not a bad idea. I could certainly see them doing that because not I don't be like People would be all that mad about that if that was right. if it gave you a proper castle. Right, you get you got the castle fans and and like the and Kingdom of Nice all that stuff, but then you get Legos or Lego. Zelda is a huge property, so that's that that has a lot of reach with that. That, that that's got a lot of recruitment value there. Yeah. So I can see that. That's actually a pretty good call. <laughs> and all the Lego ideas that were submitted will turn into sets, but but they won't be Lego idea sets. They'll be Lego's own sets that they've had in development since the very beginning. I'm sure. This was yeah. a big game when it came out, but it was it was like circumstantial, and I don't think it deserves well, to be as popular as it is. Come out has gotten really popular amongst its fans. Yeah, but it it not only its fans, just a, a random assortment of other AAA game buyers, but then they move on to the next game every month. There's a new like this is the biggest game ever game. It's just like with Lego sets. Every month there's a you thought you had the big D to C set last month. Look at this one. Better <laughs> get break them wallets out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next set the Trabant six hundred one by Padanko Pet. Um, looks it actually looks very impressive. Um, uh, in in the in the in the scale of like your your Mini Cooper, your um, your your VW Beetle. All, all that kind of stuff, kind of your your, yeah, your Aston Martin, yeah, like your your UCS kind of um, creator expert Euro European car. <laughs> is, is there any significance to this car? Let's find out. I, I'm not I mean, even familiar with the brand. I don't know if it is. <laughs> right, like Trabant it is a, B. I've never even heard of it. The Trabi was produced in East Germany, and even though not a luxury car, everyone loved it. The rattle sound of the engine still rings in my ears from my childhood. Uh, so, so that's it. It's, hey, um, it, if, if it, if it didn't appear on comedians and cars getting coffee, then it doesn't exist. <laughs> so, so does Jay Leno have one of these? Uh, we'll Probably. see. But, <laughs> uh, like Seinfeld if, has never rented one. If it was like a specific, you know, like, the, the like, uh, and, I don't know. It said it was a, it was a European. If they did like a Peugeot or something like that, maybe. Yeah, so if it was Mr. Bean's car, if it was the if it was Herbie or something like that, I think it would have a better chance. Like a Beetle or a Mini Cooper are like I feel like a lot of people recognize those. I I know cars a, a decent amount, and I don't. I've never heard of Trabant ever. Me yeah, either, was, and I I feel like 
I feel like I'm losing cred for not knowing with it. I'm like, I know, yeah. If this was a Lancia or or a Peugeot, I'd be yeah. down. But so it Can makes me check. think. It makes me think because they did that Fiat 500 earlier this year, and it's like, who the fuck cares about Fiat? But I yeah, wonder it's... what kind of business relation move that was. Like we talked about the idea that maybe they do a set with Bell, Bell, Belling and Bow, uh, mm-hmm. Boeing and Bell, just just for <laughs> some kind of bigger maneuver. I wonder if the Fiat thing was similar because uh, Fiat is uh, obviously much bigger in Europe, and and sometimes yeah. Lego only sees all, their customers the as being in Europe. I could be wrong, but I think they're already out of the U.S. for the second time. I think you're probably, really? I think you're right. I want, I want to say that sounds familiar, but I could be thinking if this is the second time, I could be thinking of the first time. Kenny, have you, have you, have you seen that absolute beef of a Fiat that came out in the U S they've got no. one that I'm sure they only exported them to the U S like they, they wouldn't have sold a single of that unit in, in Europe. Cause Europe would have been like, why did you make a tank sized Fiat? It, so, it, it's a full like suburban size Fiat. I'm like, oh, calm down, Fiat. Fiat, we're not Chrysler. we're not all that big. Fiat Chrysler owns Alfa Romeo, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Maserati, and Ram. So I could see them doing something with like Dodge or or, or Jeep. I could see the Jeeps too. I suppose they did the Land Rover, so they could do like they could have kind of a, a sub theme of kind of that. So you can do like I said, the Wrangler. Or yeah. This week on Car Talk, when did Ram break away from Dodge? <laughs> the, the, ups and, the rise and fall of Ram. I thought it was a Dodge Ram. Now it's a Ram Ram. <laughs> it's, right? it's Car Ramrod. Yeah. Um, all right. So uh, it's too oh, obscure. I say no. For, for yeah. the Western market next. It's too oh, difficult. What would you do? Son of a bitch. Oh, oh good. All right. We're safe. <laughs> next what? one. Not at the Museum by Carly Arti. Um, and it looks like it's actually the the full this full the full museum lobby, um, basically multiple levels, staircase in the side, uh, Easter Island bust, um, the, um, the the is it a T Rex? I think we have a T Rex skeleton there. Um, that is not bad. Not a bad set. If you're if you're a fan of the movies, it, it's 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 captured. I think most of the iconic moments from it, but um, yeah, this is going to be a no for me. Man, crop, I, I crop that figure out and. Ask anyone what actor that is. It is not Ben Stiller. I'm <laughs> pushing my point home. The minifigures don't actually look anything like the actors and actresses. You're just contextually obligated to think they do. So well, I, I, I say no, but I also want to say that I think this is a better set than the Bespin set that they put out. <laughs> <laughs> but that's Star Wars. You got, you got that, the Star Wars there. The, the one that just came out for like 13 hours a few days ago? Yeah, no, no, no. the the best in one where it's uh where they have like all the four quadrants. Oh, oh the, the uh, betrayal at Cloud City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. I don't know the names. So. That's the the name is betrayal at Cloud City. I, I'm a bad Lego podcaster. I don't know names. <laughs> no, no. It's just I'm I'm oh, pointing out you. that it's a name that you wouldn't guess upon. <laughs> I'll agree. This is actually a better set than that. I would say, but. This is from a, a movie, a movie franchise that had its last movie what, like seven, eight years ago. Wasn't it the only one Did they make sequels? There's three of them, I think. Damn. Yeah, Ron this Williams is, this is kind of dead. If, yeah. they, if they make a National Treasure Lego set, I'm all over it. I need Nicolas That's Cage. More irrelevant. It is, but I would totally buy that one too because I love those movies. <laughs> That's more irrelevant. It is. That's, that's like that's saying, really- "Hey, man, you know this fat, this Dom's charger from Fast and the Furious is super cool, but you know what we need? We need Gone in sixty seconds, um, <laughs> Winona or what, what, Sheila, whatever the car was, the car. Eleanor. Uh, Eleanor. What is it? Eleanor. <laughs> Eleanor. <laughs> well, all sixty of them or whatever had female all names. So, <laughs> well, that was. One wasn't, per second. Was, yes. Wasn't there? There was a whole list of cars, and they all had code names, right? Yeah, yeah. They all they all had names. How many cars they... were there? Were there sixty cars? Were there a hundred cars? One hundred and fifty cars, oh, okay. or something like. That. I, I I watch that movie kind of often. I'll let you know the next time I watch it. Kind of <laughs> often. I love that movie. Who are it's like, you? 
it's next to the TV right now because it's just you know <laughs> that the rock and fucking con air just like in a in a I did no. Dude, I love The Rock. I will watch that anytime it's on. And Con Air is not not quite the same level, but I will still enjoy that one. Yeah, the <laughs> Con Air is the weakest of the three, in my opinion. But I still like it quite a bit. I would put Face Off above Con Air. I do love Face Off. <laughs> it's the I Nicolas just, Cage hour? <laughs> Every hour is Nicolas Cage hour. Yeah. All right, are we all nose on this? Yeah, all nose here. It's, no, it's, it's too adventurous and it's too obscure. Like, Unless where the Gone in 60 Seconds one? Eleanor creator expert set is more relevant than this. If they came out with a, with another movie and this came out to coincide with their, with that release, do you think they would make it? Nope. Well, they can have no Robin Williams in it, I'll tell you what. He wasn't the star. He was one of the people in it. He wasn't the star. He's clearly <laughs> lurking right behind the not Ben Stiller right here. They'll just put Will Smith in it. They'll, <laughs> they'll, <just replace> no. <laughs> they'll, they'll put The Rock in it. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, but yeah, Will Smith would be a good one to, 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 to go in there. All right, next one, Fast Food Corner by Robin Hood Bricks. Um, do we know Robin Hood? No, I'm thinking of Robin Ann. Uh, Robin Hood Bricks. This is a modular-style uh, building, um, three stories on one end, and then the other half is kind of a two-story building um, kind of attached to it. Uh, would be, I guess, would be kind of your corner modular set. Is that now this, Is that style. Knuckles standing out front? The red thing? It's a mailbox, isn't it? It looks like that's Knuckles. A that's, <laughs> that's, and a fire that's definitely the Knuckles right there. <laughs> anybody? Knuckles the Echidna. It does look yeah, like it. Anybody? Yeah, you're not wrong. That, that, that's, it's as close to Knuckles as your other minifigures look nothing like they're, the people they're supposed to be. So why not Knuckles? <laughs> why not? <laughs> so I think this one's interesting. I like this one. Yeah. Um, I don't think it'll get produced though. I don't think it'll get made. Um, but I dig it. I like the idea. Cause, but I'm also a big modular fan. Um, so we, we've often said that three small things, the key, and I see one big thing here. So that's no. So they haven't, they haven't greenlit any of the, the modulars that have made it through as far as I, I know. Say, so, so, but not, not necessarily a modular, but what are the larger? So that was the treehouse uh, ideas. Yes. And wasn't there a one along the lines of that? Um, I, the one that I, the one that I think old of that's the most modular is the old fishing store. Yeah, that that that's the one. Um, that one did make it through, and it was great. But every other every subsequent Robin Ann project that made it through, and there have been like six, none of them got produced. And that's very that's <laughs> oh. very clearly one third of the old Diagon Alley set slapped on the back there. <laughs> Because what are they going to do that now that they have a new one coming? <laughs> I can see, I can see them like heavily modifying this. I like, like I can see parts of this turning into. Yeah, one it's going to turn into a sixty dollars creator set facade. Yeah, yeah you, like you didn't you call them modular light, Chris, or something like that, where it's like Maybe. the the ones that can be the three in one, like the, the sandwich shop, the bike shop. They, they like just those. made the sandwich shop and that burger monster truck. We're good here. Next, <laughs> that monster truck is an awesome set. I'm going to say maybe. Can I say maybe? Sure. I'm saying maybe on that one. Is that maybe. just so, like you can't be right or wrong? <laughs> I, like I honestly if it think it's made, I was right. If it doesn't get made, I was right. <laughs> I could see them like heavily modifying this one somehow. So you know how you propose like a hundred and twenty dollar set and you're gonna get one percent of the proceeds? We produced it as a forty dollar set. You're still gonna get one percent of the proceeds. You get 0.4 cents per <laughs> All right, next one. Ooh, you know I want this one, but they've already had Avatar. Avatar The Last Airbender by Mini Brick Productions. Oh, Basically, it's a very large story. What the hell is this? It's a minifigure scale appa with the full cast. So there's um, there's even a Momo. It's everybody. It's um, Zuko, Katara, all, like, all of them. Everyone's there. Even Uncle Iroh are there. I want that. To, I would, that I would that buy is the Momo this. from the Avatar set. Oh, see, I was going to say, I would, I would buy the shit out of this. But they already had the Avatar line or the Avatar license and made how many sets? Three sets. Two I sets. don't think they two sets. I don't think they did very well. Even though this this has a very large kind of resurgence with its appearance on Netflix, I don't think they're going to make this one. Uh, unfortunately, we don't know how long it'll be on Netflix. True, but again, again, it's 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 popular. It's got a big resurgence in popularity now. Um, but who knows how long it's going to last? I don't see. I don't see them wanting to pay for this license, especially if they're talking about Netflix making a live action show, all that kind of stuff. It's um, it's a it's 
it's a little scary thinking about the stuff that's popping up on Netflix that you may have never had any encounter with. And now you're under the impression that it's new and that everybody's watching it. Like I'll watch like an anime on Netflix and then I'll look it up and find out that it's eight it years came, old. It came out <laughs> 10 years ago and the manga came out 15 years ago. And I'm like, the, the fuck is that why everyone has flip phones? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the tell right there. As you watch an anime and they all have flip phones, you're like, "This is old, isn't it? <laughs> this is secretly old." Uh, what do you think? Uh, what do you think, Kenny? Oh, that's a big no. Yeah, unfortunately, no I agree. For me. No, and I want it. Trying Maybe to this will be a straight no. project. Yeah, Portal Two: Glados versus Chell and Wheatley um, by Hachiroku Twenty Four. Oh. Hachiroku. 24, the designer of uh, the um, the Akira bike that I made when I was on vacation. Um, so like yeah, no, right there, he he can sort it with the enemy. Yeah, I I would love it if it was made, and I love Portal, but they had they had a bit of a Portal license with Dimensions, and this is Portal Two specifically, which is another game that's ten years old now, or so. I, the, I think um, the, the Dimensions one was yes. also from Portal Two. Yeah, rather than but, Portal. Uh, yeah, this is. I think this is unfortunately past its popularity prime. I don't. I it's, don't know what so it would do. There's a. There's a. There's a chart. It's like you know the um, the the what's the uh what's the 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 range in Donnie Darko love and hate on that on that scale. Nobody. Okay. Well, there's there's <laughs> a scale here, and and it's like right in the middle is uh, Eleanor, a uh, uh, creator expert Eleanor from Gone in sixty seconds in the relevancy scale and you're like then where does it fall more relevant or less relevant somehow it's less relevant you know because a, they are, a, a, a car they, will sell but but this won't sell they made they made eleanor they just didn't call her eleanor <laughs> i don't remember what kind of car it was it's a mustang oh mustang GT500. Shelby? yeah shelby gt500 blue with the gray stripes they might have given it white stripes i've seen the movie like once but they made they they I'm pretty sure they made a Lego set of it anyway. Portal, no. Yep. <laughs> Sadly, no. No. Even though I wanted to. And speaking of two race cars, uh, this is the BMW M1 E26 by Tamo L. Um, Both is this the Ferrari too? Looks this, like it. I'm gonna uh, assume dude, I, I want it. Yeah, I would buy this. Uh, I would buy this for sure. Um, I'm gonna guess no, because this is two licenses that they're gonna have to try to scoop up. Well, they uh, have Ferrari already. So I'm sorry. Yeah. What are the what are the vehicles? It's the BMW M1, and oh, they they can't both be the same. I don't know why they're both in there. Um, it's only for the BMW. It looks like. Yeah, is it just for scale? Oh, for scale, like, I guess. Yeah, it's like another car they did. Maybe. Yeah. Why is there pictures of just that? Then I'm so confused. Oh fuck! Scared. Give me that. Yeah, I want that one. <laughs> oh no, it's the same car. It's just so. Look at this is the same. This is the same car, just different. Uh, like so, this is the sport the one, version. One clearly the rally version. Yeah, one is the, the 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 racing car, and one is the public version of the car. Um, I, I would buy this. Um, I I might consider. It. Have they? I don't think they've done. Wait, they have. They did a motors. They did a Technic BMW motorcycle. So they had it at least at one point. Um, you know those motorcycles that have all those containers on the back where it's almost like dude just get a car you're you're hauling so much shit just get a car you can't go to ikea in a motorcycle dude sorry he, he's trying he's trying to come back with two detolfs and a billy on this <laughs> motorcycle like i can't even begin to figure out how you're going to distribute that weight i actually did see some people go to an ikea in a in a motorcycle just yesterday <laughs> yeah but that was that, only bought that, a couple things <laughs> that was in thailand <laughs> and that's every day in thailand yeah. assuming then, there's an ikea there uh yeah um okay so what do we think will this one get approved i say no but you gotta be might... you gotta be objective about it like i want it to be approved but like they've done one bmw thing i don't see them going ideas with a car like this i see them I see them going creator or technic. I, yeah, I think that's actually a very good point. I think this is something that would be technic supercar or or like scale it down and put it in speed champions. 
Right, right. I, those are the three that I see. And like Creator isn't going to have a, 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 a branded one, but they, they could do the idea of like the the multiple versions of a car somehow, you know, maybe not a three in one, maybe it's like listed as something else. I don't know. I just don't see it happening for ideas. Yeah. I think you, I think it's a very good point. I think if they were going to do this, it would have more fanfare of an official set and not an idea set. So it would be like in, in, in partnership with BMW, here is this. And it would, it would get us, it would get its own thing. Yeah. I yeah. Think I right. also don't know how relevant the M one is to BMW's current, uh, public face like i don't know if this is a vintage vehicle or what but if if bmw is not pushing the m1 in any way at the moment then they're probably not gonna sign off on uh yeah sure you can make an old car that people can't buy anymore 78 to 81 (laughs) yeah that they're not doing the m1 then i mean it might be a classic but it does look very James Bondy, doesn't it? Like I would. Uh, I, well, I, would love- I, I I don't know about this logic because the, the Speed Champions is featuring a bunch of old vintage things. Are yeah. they now, now they're all new. I think the the in the the eight. They did a bunch of those like old versus new uh, drag race kind of sets, though. Like yeah, yeah it's the Mustang think- from a hundred years ago and the Mustang from next year. Yeah, that's true. But they've refocused now. It seems so. I don't even know if this would make it through that. Even unfortunately. I, they're they're super cool. It reminds me of a few people I follow on Instagram that do that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, like Jerry builds bricks and mm-hmm. Dirt Joe, I think are the two that come to mind first. Uh, now I can't think of uh, I, I, what's Dirt Joe spell. Is it just D R J O? It's D R J O E. I think there's a underscore in there. He did the 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 the. the you can't tell it's not Lego Brio and like the stapler and the other household objects. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's, there's a couple of that, but uh, yeah, this does look, it is very reminiscent of those, but, but yeah, Keep I don't rolling. think it's going to make it uh, next Caribbean Clipper by baby teeth. Uh, we've, we've talked many times about needing a great, uh, not, uh, not a pirate, I mean, a good Imperial ship uh, to go along so with wait, the pirate what, ship. What was the original name for the project for the, the, thing that became barracuda bay was it just pirates of was it just barracuda bay or pirate i don't know whatever that was because because caribbean clipper is a lego set and i don't know i mean i guess they can just rename it but i don't know how they feel about you going and taking a name like that let's see it would be a counterpart uh, like a a, a, uh yeah a counterpart to the pirates of barracuda bay but it's only one thing would they try to do more than just one thing with it i so he I didn't know what say... they could turn it into aside from like another shipwreck right. turned yeah, building they, they think twice and, so yeah like, that's like a repaint is not their style could yeah. they could they take this and give it a port that's just asking for even bigger of a set well if they make the boat a little bit smaller the caribbean clipper was not a big set to begin with Right, so they they don't have to go enormous to upsize it, because the Pirates of Barracuda Bay was that the, um, not Redbeard Runner. What's the other one? The Black Seas Barracuda. Was yeah, was that a play off of that exactly? I I don't have it in front yes. of me though. To... Yes. So, so it it's like an upsize of that. So I could see them taking this making the ship a little bit smaller and giving it some sort of dock or port not that it's going to come apart but almost like what what's the um like the trading post or, or, or whatever like like something to that effect you know what i mean i uh, uh yeah. i don't know if they would do one that similar to one that that, that just came out right but you could have people that want to have the good guys and the bad guys yeah, I, I I would agree with that, and I, and I would be one of those, generally speaking. Um, like, if Barracuda Bay sold well, why wouldn't they go this route? And I think it did so well, didn't it? I feel like well, it did. Great. None of us will ever actually know that answer. <laughs> There's no actual way any of us lay people could ever know the sales data of of individual. Well, anyone in like he he waited in line and bought like four sets that day. <laughs> well. All of Kenny's friends are buying them too, so it must have done well. (laughs) (laughs) 
I say yes. I say yes one way or another. They'll they'll do something along these lines. I'm gonna guess no. So I don't think it's gonna go. It wouldn't be a Lego idea set if they did it. Um, I think they they may put out a companion piece to it, but now it's gonna be. On our, this is this is what we're doing because we know you guys love that set so much. We're gonna put out one for here. And then I, it's, I, it's not gonna be a Lego set. I'll or say no, and I'll I'll agree with Paul because if it's it's ideas, they're like, hey, give us an idea, and then we're gonna do whatever we want. So they think- say, hey, make a Minecraft set, and they're like, okay, we'll make your Minecraft set. Oops, we made a hundred more, <laughs> and you, you think- have nothing to do with them. Yeah, have they have they done? Have they taken an ideas that that supposedly we think might might have done well and then made the theme off of it? Like was Minecraft ideas to begin Minecraft, with? Minecraft, yes. Yeah. Um, Ghostbusters, yes. Uh, so if if I mean obviously most of them are the, one off. The pirate stuff was theirs, but to begin with, they got the ideas for Barracuda Bay, and if it if it did, you know what they wanted to, or even better, maybe they go, okay, cool, people want a theme. And we can make it awesome instead of, you know, just run of the mill. I don't think they need an outside party to continue Barracuda right. Bay if they want, that's, want to. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. If they, if they just go cool, people voted for a Caribbean Clipper. People voted for Barracuda Bay. We made it. So f it. We're just gonna make a theme and forget the ideas portion of it. It's just you know pirates four or whatever. So are you changing your answer to no? <laughs> I was just having a conversation. I don't know. <laughs> I, I think well, everything hey, you, you need to write. You, we need to etch it into the tablet, man. I'm, I'm going. No. I'm going yes. I'm going yes on this one. All right. Next. Next. All right. Only on number fourteen. God damn it. Sheriff safe with combination lock. No. Uh, oh hell no. Did we look at this one no, on the show? I've never even seen this. I want to. Say, I thought we did because I think the combination actually like works. Like you can actually like twist it and and, and all that kind of stuff. It has got to be at the right spot in order for it to open. And congratulations, things like Bird Bueno Bono. <laughs> Il Bueno, as as my guess. Sheriff safe with combination lock by Il Bueno. No. Uh, yeah, it's a cool design. It's clean, and if it works, that's great. But I don't think it's gonna get made. This is no. This I don't think it's gonna get made. No, nope. and it's like it, 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 it would it's it well would done. totally fit with your. I'm a I'm an expensive attorney, and I have my ship in the bottle, and I have the grand piano, the <laughs> other ones, the the grand piano, and I've got, you know, sometimes kids come in here, kids are my clients, so I've got the marble maze, and it, it would fit with those. <laughs> <laughs> it would. I think it definitely would. Um, but I don't think this is enough of a of a showstopper of that kind of a piece that it would that it, it would. No, demand. and those things those things are cool because they are miniature models Spider? of things of things that are usually big. The safe, it's usually bigger, but it's not to the scale of like a piano bigger than this. Yeah, so there you go. You can actually you can customize the the, the combination and all that. Um, I swear, like I want to. It looks like there's a spider underneath it, and I want to know what that's all about. Like this, like doesn't it look like a spider. It is right. <laughs> Why is that there? I'm very confused. Why is that there? <laughs> I don't know. All right, whatever. Uh, so yeah, I, I, in the book with a candle on top of it. I don't know. <laughs> I think no. I also think this is pretty small, so this is, this isn't gonna get. It's, yeah, it's, no. yeah. Mole. <laughs> uh, no. I guess the uh, 31 Minutos TV Studio by Insomniac Tifo and no. XW twenty three eighty seven. A very specific call for something. I don't know what this is. This is a no for me. Nope. That's a, like a really weird amount of time. Yeah, it's a it's a TV studio from uh, I'm gonna assume a TV show. Uh, probably looks like some sort of a comedy show. Um, Let's hope. Let's yeah. hope it's a comedy show. But I'm gonna get, this is a no. Uh, this is not gonna get made. Um, Southwest seven thirty seven eight hundred by Big Plains Customs. Um, no, we know what he does. Yeah, it's it's a well done model. Um, unless there's a partnership with Southwest, 
I don't think it's gonna get made though. Is that <laughs> like heavy? Is it just that big, or is that heavy stickering on the back? The color breakup is very well done on the on the it's tail. Gotta That's gotta be stickers. Unless this the, is built much Southwest. bigger than it looks. The, the Southwest, it looks that's well, gotta that, be that, that's clearly a, a sticker or something. But so you got any good shots of the tail? Hey. Here you go. Here's some tail shots. Can you get that nicey in the mail yet? <laughs> <laughs> what that, that isn't that isn't that a space girl enough for you, Chris? No, I I mean I don't want them it's to be robots. Girl. I don't I don't want them to be robots. So there you go. It's it's brick built. No, it's stickers. It's brick built with stickers to uh, to make the white lines. The, the, the white, white lines, I guess, might be okay. The white everything stickers else, to, it's, to it's, smooth it's out the break up because I'm sure it's not that smooth. Yeah, yeah. It's it's white and red, like half and half. The stickers. Oh, okay. So it's it's really cleaning up the the break of the colors. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's a well done model though. So they've done Boeing on a couple occasions. I just I don't see them reaching out to Southwest, especially the like are are planes even flying right now? <laughs> they are, but uh but not <laughs> many. <laughs> Gotta wear a mask on that flight. Yeah, I say no. How, how cheap is airfare right now? I assume I don't no, think it's not any cheaper. <laughs> But you can now. You actually will. You won't get bumped for your flight, and you'll actually be able to sit and have some room. <laughs> I'm gonna book a flight right now. <laughs> to uh, to Louisville, so I can go to Raising Canes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you, can stay, you can stay at my house. And like I said, it's down the street. Um, but yeah, Southwest. I think unfortunately, it's a no. It's a well done model, but it's a no. It's a no. If it was like. Maybe an original airplane design. Maybe. I just throwing oh, the license in there think, is only making it harder on themselves. What do you think, Kenny? It's only three hundred dollars to go to Oklahoma City. <laughs> uh, I say no, no. I Are you guys hearing my go nose? Going everything immediately. <laughs> That's a three no. Oh yeah, we'll pay attention there. Terry Pratchett's Discworld by Brickhammer. No. Uh, this is clearly the third time they've done this too. I was gonna say Brickhammer's unless, been on there a bunch of times. And let this Discworld thing, unless this has been angling towards ten thousand for several years, uh, I think this has come up before. I don't know what so, the yeah, fuck a Discworld this, is, but no. Discworld is a is a, it's a very big like Terry Pratchett, it's it's a big universe in in books. Like there's the, the, a whole book series. This is very well done, but uh it's All it's right, also I, I don't need cut. to hear no more about flat earthers, Paul. Next <laughs> like I said, it's it's a deep cut and that's a no. That it's it's popular amongst his fans, but no elephants on turtles, no. <laughs> Seasons in time, calendar by Brent Waller. Uh it looks like it's actually a, a Almost, if you if you picture like a, a grandfather clock, but that's that's the the calendar, and it looks like it actually works by twist, twisting the dials. You can you can advance the days, the date, and the month, and there are kind of seasonal micro builds, um, minifigure scale that you can kind of have uh, in front of it to go and correspond to it. Now you know this what? is interesting. Left I field. Could... I'm gonna go yes. Put it down, Kenny. Write it down. I'm going. I'm going yes on this one too. I can yes. definitely see this being. So even if they simplify the mechanism and they just make it one of those ones where you just change the you know thing by hand, if they wanted to for some reason, I think the I think the the dial twisting the knob I think is actually a good one. I think it shouldn't be too difficult given that they've done it with like the Mario, um, uh, the the Nintendo like set with the, with the track. I think it's it's a similar mechanism there. Um, so it, it's what it's a it's going to be like a spool of twelve up top and is the top one the month. No, the top one is the day. So that's uh, the seven up top. So the seven up top. There's ten. There's Ed. um. Technically, it only needs to be three or four for the first. Three, the three and four, then ten. Four, four then ten because you four need zero. Ten. Four then ten, and then the bottom one is twelve, which is the biggest roll, I would think. But if it's like on, I don't know how the Mario one works. I'm assuming it's like the tank tread links but yeah it is but if it's the tank tra like getting 12 on those links it would not be hard yeah and and if that's on the bottom there's more space there like they could use the space oh yeah good call yeah 
So um, I, I, I say yes, I can see this. They've done a bunch of these, like, you know you want to throw some money away and get a, a desk <laughs> calendar made out of Lego so all your coworkers could just know how, just how cool you are. Well, now you can have this one. This is the one where I like going to grandma's house because she has that cool Lego calendar. <laughs> so the question that, so I think this is a great idea and I think it will get produced as well. Will it get produced under ideas or will Lego come up with their own? Because we talked about they've made many calendars, like you said, Chris. Where I think they do, do it ideas? I think they'd give I, them this one. I would hope that they would give this one because this is this is more creative than than theirs, and I, I I like the the mechanism of being able to advance the dates and all that kind of stuff. And I think that the builds, the seasonal builds, are smart uh, a smart add to it as well. They're tiny little guys for a little fun. Is your four four small things and one big thing in this one? Um, but yeah, I think this is a great idea, and this is the kind of idea that they would do because it's it's kind of not what they would normally approve and what not was is not normally what's submitted. So I think this one can get it. That's a Paul. Yes, that's a Paul. Yes. Oh, four small things and one big. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one, Exploratorium by Endless Ages. This is looks like a steampunk type um, city. All self-contained. That, that is clearly uh, Mystic Mountain Time Lab right there. You know, you're right. <laughs> From the Flightworks series. This is part of a whole series. Um, and so what do we think? No. Yeah, this is a no for me too, I think. Is, is it, uh, so this is actually from something? Um, 3,000 but, pieces, Flightworks compatible. Connect the walkways. Is, 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 is Flightworks TV. their personal line of mocks they've made? I have no idea because that's that's calling it oh, from a different one. <laughs> so they're they're doing a whole series basically. Uh, right. So set, unless this Flightworks is an actual IP, uh, that's not the the builder's personal IP. I think calling your own mocks a series <laughs> name is about as about a, as I don't know what the word is. It's it's as relevant as as a, a, a twelve year old on YouTube calling their channel Studios when it's clearly just their bedroom. <laughs> Your bedroom is not a plural Studios. <laughs> but sometimes I I shoot my videos in the basement too. That's Studios. <laughs> two of them. Two Studios. <laughs> like, studios means there's more than one location. That's why it has an S on the end. So what do we think? Slow okay. touring, yes or no? That's nope. a no because they use that trans green glass from that town junior police. Yeah. Right? 12 base plate police yeah. modular hocus pocus. No. Yeah, there's a no for me as well. 3,000 pieces for uh, a steampunk. Steampunk is not that big. Um, you missed the Hocus pocus. pocus. Sanderson Sisters Cottage by the... Whoa, they got a gift for <laughs> Um... How are they allowed to do that? I don't know. That's actually, I, I don't know. Is it, I guess it's not against the rules. They're just the only ones doing it. To have a GIF? Why don't I they guess. Have flickering light inside. That would make it even better. Yeah, it would. Um, I don't, I, I don't, I haven't watched Hocus Pocus in maybe 20 years. So I don't remember. No has. It seems accurate, but I think this is a, too deep a cut as well. I, I think like it's there's, there's, Hocus Pocus hasn't been relevant. It barely becomes relevant on on Halloween each year <laughs> on Lifetime when they show the movie again. Um, so oh, yeah, I don't, no I, I don't even think that much of the movie takes place in this location. I would agree with you. <laughs> it's just I think you can't really get this is probably like a location that you can get from the movie. I was going to ask if, if it was a TV show or a movie because I don't know what this is. It's <laughs> a movie from Bet Midler's in it. <laughs> it's a movie from Bet Midler's in it. Uh, no. late, early nineties, I think, at the most. Um, yeah, so it looks impressive. Uh, but please tell me the description says from the hit insert year here movie. <laughs> this is the home of the infamous Salem, which is Winfred, Sarah, and Mary Sanderson for '93 Disney film Hocus Pocus. Oh, so they go Disney again. So yeah, that's not going to happen. Why do they it. keep talking about "I love this"? It's like we know you made it and and you submitted it. 
It's impressive. They they went they, they put a lot of effort and in, into this. Lots of gifts. <laughs> in um, anime. Oh, you know what this is? That what that maca maca bricks that platform that I think Lego put out where you can animate your builds. Oh, I it's got to be what this is. Maybe that's why I got approved as well. Like, oh, look, they're using our new platform. Good for them. Good. Let's get it Still not getting made. Yeah, not getting made. Next one, Shit's Creek, the Rosebud Motel by C. Mark Geek. No, uh, no. Yeah, it's a no as well, even though it's pretty well done. The figures look great, um, but this is just a facade of the motel. And I think as as popular as this show was, it's it's only Netflix popular. So it's not hugely popular. It just got really popular on Netflix. Well, I'll tell you this. Oh. Vicky's watched it all, and she actually went to like a like a trivia night at a bar about this show mm-hmm. with like some of her teacher friends i'm like why that show yeah like it's 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 really popular but again i think it's really popular like, they're not gonna make an ozark set they're not gonna make it's, what else? it's also it's not gonna get made because of the name well they did also they did do stranger things i suppose so i guess it's not it's there is a precedent there but this is not gonna get made yeah but the name the name alone you're right they can't say the name on the radio when they talk about it they have to spell it like they're not gonna make a lego set <laughs> they could just call it the Rosewood Motel if they really want to get around it. But yeah, this is still a no for me. Yeah, it's a no. That's, that's a pretty shit facade, too. No pun intended. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it is It is like, a motel. That, that's guess. like a six deep building right there. <laughs> Next one. Gold Rush Mine Train Roller Coaster by Foot on a Brick. Really well done. Like This I'm is a, no a really good their name. <laughs> um, what, was the name. What was the name? The Gold Rush Mine Train Roller Coaster. Foot on a brick. Foot on a brick. <laughs> it's a no just because they named themselves Foot on a Brick. I so think it's what, I, <laughs> what I want to know is, is this a one-to-one from one of the uh, rides in the Legoland PC game? Because if it is, then my subjective answer is, oh, hell yes. <laughs> Uh, oh, they said they didn't say they didn't say six minifigures. They said six thrill seekers. <laughs> six staff, six thrill seekers, two mine trains, one horse, two skeletons, four K games, lots of dynamite, lots of gold, and lots of fun. Um, Are they like trying to avoid copyrights on on a Lego website? <laughs> don't, don't say minifigures. Don't say it's made out of bricks. <laughs> don't say so, knobs. He said he's a fan of Lego roller coaster sets and thought he'd try his own and enjoy designing this. So I don't think it's based on something from the game. All right, then it's a no. I'm gonna say yeah. It's it's impressive. Um, I'm gonna say that's a that's a rad. I'm gonna say yeah. Whoa! Don't get wet in that part. Like oh, this is <laughs> this is actually pretty good. Assuming this is a waterfall, that's pretty well done. They, I like this one. They've done that a lot, man. I don't buy roller coaster sets. <laughs> no, no, they they using that piece as a waterfall. They've done that a bunch of times. Do they yeah, have a, they yeah. have a they have a close up of the uh, clearly Fort Legorado uh, building? I want to see the thrill seekers again. Oh, sorry. Thrill How seekers. much thrill? There you go. Yeah, they're seeking thrills, baby. <laughs> they got one of the building. This sort of that. Um, no, not really, actually. Hold on. Oh, here you go. Here's more of the No. Nope. I like no this. Figures. So they don't actually really get much closer. They don't have it. They're not showing off that. Okay. I, it's it's I'm nice because yeah. it would it would use parts they already have and it would it would give you I see Lego doing it on their own first. That's the thing. I think uh, how many roller coaster sets have they had in the relatively recent like? Uh, they had the big uh, one. They had the two, big one. They had the pirate one. Two. Uh, uh, friends. Friends did one using the new roller coaster pieces, and Toy Story Four did one doing the new roller coaster pieces. As and well. They had. Did, didn't the Joker have something? Didn't he have? Yeah. Like, yeah. The Wayne. Joker. The the Wayne Manor turned Joker Manor has a roller coaster around it. That was actually the the first usage of those pieces i think oh yeah i thought it was something like that i say yeah i i i, I go yeah chris, uh, chris you go no i go no because i think they're gonna make it on their own i i'm gonna go no also because i think they're gonna do their own roller coaster it might not be this one specifically but i think they'll do an amusement park style roller coaster again so i'm a no on this one 
I see. This isn't. This is an amusement park, just a very like stylized one because they have all the other games there. Yeah, I think it's great. Um, but I'm but I'm guessing this is going to be a no. Word. <laughs> Am I saying yes to too many? I have like three no. or four. Yes, definitely saying yes to too many. <laughs> <laughs> Next one: Vincent Van Gogh, Starry Starry Nights by Lego Truman. No, it's very well done. And you know what? Like, given their kind of maybe, the, way, the way that they're going with things now. I'm going to go yes on this one. Assuming there's not like a license you have to pay for this, which there very well could be, but it, it kind of goes along with the theme of the Lego art and, and the, the a fall, the, the, like the, the, the Lego convention stuff that you see being turned into Lego sets. I could see it on this one. Hmm. That's tough. He doesn't have a bandaged ear, so I, I'm leaning. <laughs> You can't tell that's Van Gogh. Come on, man. May, may, maybe he painted this one before. This is the, the this, is, this is the bricks on the dollar minifigure. It definitely it, is. Yeah, it, it, it's like Dewey Cox not knowing how to smell and making great music. <laughs> that you know, <laughs> he could, he that looks yeah, painting really good. <laughs> that looks like Danny McBride. <laughs> So I want to. I want to. I want to drive one more nail into the dead horse beating coffin, and that is: Do any of the Central Perk Friends minifigure heads on Bricklink list the character name in the description of the head? Because if it's a no, then fuck you. They're not who they are. They're just minifigures. <laughs> Again, most people don't look at minifigures as as their twelve the twelve different individual parts or whatever it is. They look at them as whole. What do you mean it's not Spider Man? <laughs> uh, this is a tough one, Paul, because I could definitely see them doing this and being like, "This is what you want." Is it not a false? This is <laughs> what you want. Focus. I like it. Told us so. Um, I, like I, I there's. A lot of interesting builds looks like with this, and a lot of layering of pieces that you wouldn't normally have layered in this way. So I think it's a, this is I think this is good. I like this one, and I like it for a Lego Ideas approved set. I'm just gonna go with no because it, either way it doesn't really make a difference. <laughs> so Chris is checking out. <laughs> it's just because we brought up the minifigures again. <laughs> Kenny, you're all up in that private chat. What are you doing? I got surprised when Paul says something. I guess you're you're the only one who's who's in that chat. <laughs> I'm, I'm screen sharing, so I can't see it. <laughs> we, we, you can talk, Kenny. We can hear you talk. I say no. Okay, so Kenny's a no. Chris a no. I'm a yes. We gotta speed this shit up. Uh, the Fortress Imperial Army by Pirate Ten. No. I'm no, sure if they want to do pirates, secure. they're going to do them on their own. Yeah, this is your uh, 356 uh, clear blue studs again. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get to know on this one too. Though, I, I do dump, like the design. Dump them out, dump them out just like this. Yeah. Not this from the, the side of the hand, from the tip of the hand. Dump yeah. those studs. <laughs> like I, I, I like the throwback. I like the skeleton in the back, all that kind of stuff. But um, like, this is a no for me at least. Let's see. Next one. Seagull Bay Lighthouse Imperial Fortress by Delusion Brick. No. Man, they're, they're loving the, the kind of Pirates of Barracuda Bay style now uh, with everyone's like, oh, that was cool. Let's make our own version and submit it to Ideas. If That's you a no one. build it physically, you shouldn't be allowed <clears throat> to put it on Ideas. Like, <laughs> either, they might either have, have Lego or don't have Lego. <laughs> why why would Lego want to make your project if you haven't bought any of their products? Yeah, this is all everything just, they, they don't even have anything built. Uh, but yeah, this is a no for me. Oh, there's this a no with, for the three the, hanging the three skeleton, skeleton corpses there. Yeah, that's not gonna fly. They had Redbeard and his first mate and the other guy. They're just, they're just killing actual Lego guys. Like, no. <laughs> All right, next one. Is that, is that just the, the, the black vine upside down? I'd never thought about using that as a noose. Probably rightfully so. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's kind of fucked. <laughs> next but, one. The Bakery by Bricky Brick. 
Um, this is a modular style building in the style of your Parisian restaurant. Uh, that, I think it's that's Sweeney Todd's barbershop. What the fuck? It definitely looks like that. And I do like that it's uh, the kind of raised um, platform that it's on. So not much compatible. <laughs> and there's your demon barber. Um, yeah, man. That's, you know, that's two days in a row that I've, I've referenced Sweeney Todd. That's weird. That is weird. If that's because <laughs> they're like, uh, you, you, where do you place Sweeney Todd on the uh, Eleanor chart of relevance? Does it last? <laughs> last. <laughs> <laughs> this is your. Uh, this is this is a, a building, uh, kind of from the. They said the when when electricity was finally being um, put out to the public. Um, I'm Ain't gonna like get nobody was well, finally. Ain't like nobody was going, yo, dog, we don't talk like this yet, but I heard there's this thing coming called electricity, but they're going to make us wait three years. <laughs> we need finally released. Nobody like, was I, waiting for electricity. I like the era. I like the era, but I don't see this being, I don't see anybody really caring about this. Yeah, I agree. Waiting this is, for elect this is, this is waiting waiting for, me. for electricity. No. I, I, I like the attention to detail that there's this shadow because this is electricity coming out finally. So like, this is what happens with lights. You have shadows. <laughs> I think it's just, it's, it's creative. I could uh, sooner see one. them making like a light, a big light bulb in the style of the the ship in a bottle the glass, in the bottle. and then having a sound brick that just you push it and it makes <laughs> like this like <laughs> sound, like a like hypnotoad. <laughs> it, no, it, it makes an uh, incredibly inefficient electrical audio. Because that's like when... So heat and sound coming from a light is inefficiency. That's why LEDs are, are silent. And they don't really put off heat because that's energy being converted into different forms that aren't the form you're trying to make. Yo, Oh, what up that one electronics class I took? <laughs> well done. Um, so yeah, it, as, as that as that electronics course uh, has relevance to the set, that's a no. <laughs> I took one. it because you could use mindstorms in one part of the class. All right, next one: <laughs> the Bangladesh National Parliament, Jatio Shangshad Baban by J and J Lego. Um, this is a architecture style micro build of this building. Uh, this is an absolute no, unless there is. <laughs> well, they, they would do it in the, the architecture line. Absolute no. Right. They right. Do it, first, they do the architecture line only if there was a like a, like oh a deal they're trying to do with with the parliament there. So, this so is I don't stuff. know what it's like in Chicago, Paul, but I know in the Philadelphia area, everyone here is so small minded. They're dumbfounded that there's not any Philadelphia based architecture sets. So like, but Philadelphia is the only thing that I know exists. Why what haven't they made think? a Philadelphia one? It's we because it's, it's Chicago texture and not Philadelphia texture. Chicago <laughs> texture, don't don't start. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so I, I this, tell them I'm like, look, the company's from Denmark. The person who started designing the sets is from Chicago, <laughs> and uh, we're the fifth biggest. We were the fifth biggest city in a country so calm your ass down <laughs> what, are the other, what are the four new york la miami new york Chic no new york chicago la and houston houston i was gonna say austin or houston but i think it's houston it's either houston or dallas fort worth i think it's houston though well that's cheating that's two cities <laughs> isn't it just one of those like there's a river and we don't like the guys on that side of the river so yeah. we're one city but you know. yeah, St. Paul no that's two <laughs> I, it's it's probably a tax write off Kissimmee St. Cloud <laughs> we're two cities now <laughs> so we, we don't have to pay as much taxes so uh, Paul no yeah, Paul, no. Paul absolute no Chris no <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a no only if there was a celebration in Bangladesh for, for this to go out concurrent to that but they would again do that in their own line they wouldn't do it ideas uh next one lego doggo by lego truman oh uh, <laughs> cute dogs um <laughs> i guess there's a there's a, a corgi there's a min pin um there's a there's a, a beagle what's that um, what's that is it the one in the middle The what's that dog that like 
is Japan personified as a dog? Is it a corgi? Maybe. I think it's the one in the like the the third one from the left. That's, you know, like if you think of Japan, and you think a dog. That's the only one. Like that's the only kind of dog they have there. <laughs> you know the, the super, one, the super fluffy one. You know the one. They only I have do. one. They they have I exiled follow. every other breed of dog out of Japan. They're like, no, we have one dog, and they're pure. <laughs> they're pure dogs. A Shiba Inu. Maybe I don't know. Maybe. The one on the right looks like my first dog, a Silky Terrier. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this, this is a no. Uh, <laughs> this is this will not get made. It's cute, and dogs are cute, and dogs are. They stuck to popular. three, but they went with six small things, and also Legos all capitals to get fucking get with it. <laughs> What's the bring us home part? Are these anything? Oh no, it's just home. it's just cute. So you go Beagle, Corgi, oh, no, German. They want you to vote for it so that, they, that Lego can make it and then you can go buy it and bring it home. Yeah. Shiba Inu is your Japanese dog right over there. Uh, the German, the Corgi, the Beagle, all ones I mentioned. There's a Husky and a Pug. There's, there's Gator. Which one's the Pug? Uh, this one, maybe? The, the, the Pug, the second from the right? The fifth one? It's a yeah. Corgi, I think. I, I thought this was a Corgi. I don't fucking well, know dogs. Clearly, <laughs> clearly, they're not very good at making dogs. Next. <laughs> sorry it's very cute like go Truman, but no next the zen bonsai by brent waller now this one i actually like a lot yeah that's, um, that's a yes for me yeah the tree design is great i think all the detail that they have here with the bridge and everything also is really good the well, stand is on. great oh do they have one of those water pouring into the bamboo and then it goes clack 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 <laughs> as it fills up you know <laughs> <laughs> every episode of every anime will at one point feature that thing. They must be <laughs> everywhere. Are they everywhere? I like this dude. Find, I like the other Find, it. find me the picture that has that bamboo fulcrum thing where the water pours into it until it's full and then it pours out and it clacks. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, I do. I definitely do. It's that that's the, the Asian version of that perpetual motion bird that they have that 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 drinks the water all the time. <laughs> the a yeah. The Asian version um, of the the metal balls on the desk that clack back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna call them Benoit balls, but it's definitely not what that is. Um, this is this this episode is not not for kids. Um, but yes, for me, this is a uh, this is a yes for me. It's gonna go right I'm next curious. to your ship in a bottle and your piano was, and the, say, type, well, the, the typewriter. I don't have the piano, but because uh, <laughs> I don't care about it that much, that I don't care about three hundred fifty dollars worth. Um, but the, this the, I would the, buy. Wait, wait, the piano is three hundred fifty dollars. Yeah, it's expensive as fuck. Right? No, I, no, the piano is not three hundred and fifty dollars. I'm it, curious. It's really expensive. I'm that, curious. That, they, that's not right. Are they interested in like? Are they trying to go into any other markets or anything? Well, like, I guess with Lego? Barbie Kid and all that kind of stuff. So this could be part of and 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 all the Chinese New Year sets. This could be Asia in general. Right. Is Monkey Kid only at the Lego store? I've never seen it in the stores. I, I've so. never seen it. I haven't seen it elsewhere. I've only seen it in the Lego stores. Too. I, I've never I, seen it, period. So it's not at Walmart, I'll tell you that. I'm going no on the Zen Bonsai. Ooh. It's, yeah, it's, I think it's I'm not $350, go yes. Paul. That's outrageous. I'm going to go with yes, but I'm also going... Oh, sorry. This is, I don't want Lego ideas. Um, God damn, I just saw it. It's 350 bucks. All right, we'll we'll go. Go. That's where I was. Like, there you go. What does that say right there? Are you fucking kidding me? No wonder none of my friends bought it. I don't $350 like this set. It's great, but no. Nope. It doesn't even look that big. Why is it $350? Uh, it fucking plays. I don't know. It, it's like, uh, you, can, you can put your phone up on it, and then it will play something through an app, I believe. Are you fucking yeah, $350? Yeah. So no, that's they, a they, they, at, at no point during the design process do they go, hold on, never mind. This isn't going to work. <laughs> like, that, that, I, I, that I, I don't know if you could tell, but I clearly had no idea it was quite cost that much. That's, that's why I don't have insane. it. <laughs> yeah, agreed. Um, the the bonds I said, I, I think even come with made. 21 minifigures. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I think the bonsai could get made, and if it does, I'm curious to see how much of this is retained in the final design. I'm gonna bet that it's gonna it's be—it's just the tree in some dirt. Yeah, 
it'll be <laughs> it'll be probably half the number of pieces, unfortunately. But I love how it looks. Next, next one. I can see it getting the Raku Ramen Shop by Daddy Twins. That's this a, a no. no. <laughs> can he? No. I'm pretty sure these are these are bootleg minifigures as well. <laughs> they got them in the market. Yeah. <laughs> no. I like the idea of a ramen shop, but it's definitely a no. Uh, next, Temple of Hermit by Brickfornia. This looks dope. This looks great. Um, is this a real place? I have no idea. Probably not. This is probably from um, a fiction of some sort. Like, this is maybe of something, but I don't think it's a place. I mean, it's it's just a pagoda. You can just. Build. It's a real, yeah. The real, uh, the real Japanese five. Hold on, the real Japanese five story pagoda has five stories inside. Oh, it's just talking about how there is five yeah. story pagodas. Okay. Yeah, I don't think this is of a specific pagoda, but like, yes, they they have these types of designs. I think what places. Kenny's getting at is that it works in this thing's favor that it's not an actual place. Oh, it's got an extendo mode. What was that? Go here, <laughs> hey, make it dance, make it dance, Paul, make it dance. Look at that, just like ETR. <laughs> Is that where I the think secret looks... laser cannon comes out? <laughs> I think this looks awesome. I would, I would. ICBMs I would come out <laughs> like an American Dad. Now, like, how dogs, how man. likely how likely is it that they would repurpose this for Ninjago or something along the lines? I think it's see that, that well, that's actually true. Like this is way more detailed. They'd have to go more traditional Ninjago or more like movie Ninjago, and I don't know if they're gonna double back around. They keep every every wave is a completely different take, right? So this is like, go, like this is pure Ninjago. Like like Andrew had said when he talked about his mocks, like if people like try to commission him or ask him how much it would cost for a mock, it's way more expensive because it's built like a brick and way more more bricks than a Lego set would be. This is that. So this is this is a solid solid piece. If Lego were to make this, it would be again about half the bricks, I think, um, in in like a Ninjago or something like that. So it would look nothing like this. It's a say no. no. I, I think they're cool. going to say it conflicts with Ninjago, if whatever that. It's is. really cool. Yeah, I don't think it'll be made. Unfortunately, um, I think it's awesome. I would totally buy it, but I think that it's too close to what they're already what, what they've already got going with their own themes. That I don't think it's going to get made. Too bad. Next, the Ocean House by Han was yellow first again. No, what are we on? How far have we gotten? We're close. We're we're almost done. There's only like three left. Um, okay. This is this is a no for me as well. I like the design, but uh, but yeah, no. I don't. I don't even know is. what the fuck that is. That's a no. Go. Yeah, yeah. it's just him going downstairs. I guess into the. Someone's is that going where, downstairs. Is that is that is that from Moana? Keep going. <laughs> the Moana uh, Medieval Market by Carlierti. Yeah, when um, so when we were in Miami for like my third third to last Brickfest Live, we went to this um this Chinese buffet while we were in Miami and at the table next to us was this um teenage girl who was this spitting image of Maui, the rocks character from Moana. It was <laughs> unrealistic how much this teenage girl looked like the rocks animated character in that movie and we took pictures of her and it was real mean and you know so whatever. you should be more ashamed of that than we also, thought, we, we, we also wanted to go get coffee and like the five of us channeled all of our spanish into into me and i ordered the coffee <laughs> they channeled it. We, cafe we, Quiero t- it, quiero cafe. it was more than that. They wanted fucking complex shit. I didn't get anything. They wanted <laughs> complex stuff, and I was like, hold on. All <laughs> of us to together. We have <laughs> by our powers combined, we can Spanish. Because <laughs> we're in Miami and it was a necessity. Okay, story's over. Yeah, I don't know. What what, what brought that up? <laughs> uh, the Moana looking previous set. Oh, got it. So yeah, so this is a uh, medieval market. A uh, cool looking building, actually. Um, but this is going to be a no for me. Um, they've there. There have been other medieval type sets that have been approved or not, not approved, but have made ten thousand before and did not get approved. That I think were better than this. Um, and unfortunately, I don't think this is going to make it either. I I applaud the uh, I, I applaud the builders for going. You know what? 
Lego ain't gonna make Castle of Pirates. Pirates, we gotta make it happen. Uh, also, I don't know how relevant his sextant is. I'm gonna say land. sextant <laughs> on, on land, though. Do aren't they mostly? I mean, you could use it for to look over the sea. I think no, they could use it for um. The, what, what do they call it? Surveying. Surve surveying. Surveying. You could use it for surveying for when you do excavation or whatever. But I mean, they, yeah. Does this does this like open up? Because it doesn't look like much of a market, more than just a building. Oh, good call. Actually, uh, looks like the layers. It's a modular. They have some separate. furniture and they have maybe go. it's empty They're inside. Separate. I don't know. I think the market market might be um, a misnomer. Still, I don't think it's much of a market. It's uh, about as market as the as the. Uh, it's a shopping uh, green market. grocer. Yeah, it's 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 fine, but yeah, it's a no. And let's I, see next one. I fall guy. I don't. Of course, I don't even but know what. Know. what I, <laughs> this is off of the video game. What the hell is what this? The fuck this is. So Fall Guys is a super popular currently, um, kind of like free to play video game, where it's like you can you play over the over over the internet with with random people, and it's almost like um, like Wipeout was like the, the the TV show Wipeout, where you're like oh, this is basically a big obstacle course, and you gotta be the last person to make it or to I'm stay. I'm sorry, on. but it's, it's gonna be irrelevant by next month. Yes. So no. This, this, this is a no for me as well. Also, I'd love to know what the what the runtime was on this project, like zero to ten thousand. Because I actually do know this. This was um, very recent, less than a month um, that this was actually first put forth, I believe. Because I follow, I, I watch Re Real Ash and Flash on on YouTube. Um, Why? And so, because he he's got some cool stuff that he puts out. Um, I I think he put this out sim around the time where the um, the Lego art like sets came out, like like a little bit before those. So like the the Sith set, the Iron Man set, like that stuff, that the mosaics. Like so, this is very recent, um, and I think it just got it probably got picked up by like say like IGN or whatever one of those like. Get, that's like, like, the, that's the thing is some something. of these some of these uh, quote unquote influencers. They could... <laughs> he's not an influencer at all but i think it just got picked up by by like a gamer like no, website. no i'm saying it, i'm i'm saying it, call him an influencer or not but if they have a certain size following they could really make an industry out of putting ideas projects up and be like Here's my ideas project of the week. Everyone who follows me, go vote yeah. for this. And you're going to get 10,000 on yeah, all of them and just force Lego into looking at them. I think even if they don't get made. Before. Yeah. Like it was similar, like Robin Ann, like with the, the guy who did the, the old fishing store, like when all of those started getting approved or not approved, when all of those started getting 10,000, like it was as if like his following just like, yep, let's put this one through. And That's yep, like, if, you have, if you have a hundred thousand subscribers and and you just, just like bricks on the dollar. Uh, what? Um, <laughs> just like bricks on the dollar. <laughs> I don't though. So uh, if you have a hundred thousand subscribers and you just every week go, hey, go, hey, children who watch my videos and don't deserve credit on the internet, um, go vote for this project. This is this pro this week's project. Go vote for this one, and then you're just gonna flood it with whatever you want, and Lego's gonna have to look at them all, and made or not. You're gonna you're gonna skew the whole system. Well, I don't think it really skews much. It just takes up time and and resources when they do actually. Uh, yeah, and then what do you think is gonna happen? They're gonna they're gonna change it and make it either harder or get rid of it if it's really that much of a burden to Lego. So I think I it's. Have, sorry, I, have go a, ahead. I have a thought on this, so I think it's a no, but it looks a heck of a lot more fun than any of those Mario sets. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I do know a lot of kids who who have who seem to have enjoyed those Mario sets like quite a bit right now. They're enjoying Mario, it. Mario, right? you can spend seventy dollars on a freaking like add-on when you can just go buy a Mario game and have <laughs> for less. Kenny, Kenny, you can go buy an existing NES and games for less money than the Lego tube TV with the NES <laughs> that doesn't actually do anything. <laughs> It's it it's it's it, it's not cool looking. It, and no, this. it's not. It's not fair to compare the things because like this is not supposed to be a functioning video game, but it's going to look like one. You could buy a functioning. 
<laughs> the, the actual Nintendo and games are so much better of a value than the Lego yep. set. Yep. <laughs> Lego's worth more than gold, Chris. Come on. Well, only, God, no. only if you don't open it, it was expensive to begin with, and it's 10 years later. You didn't <laughs> read the second line of that. That's the long the open the opening sentence of the article. What Ratatouille, read. No. Ratatouille reopened the doors, brick project. Um Again, very well done, but this is, uh, I think, Disney. Like, it's a Disney property, so it's not going to get made through ideas. Um, and Ratatouille, unless they do a Ratatouille two, uh, this is also like 15 years old, I think. Thank you Ratatouille. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then the sequel to that, we Ratatouille three. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Uh, so yeah, this is this is no on this one, even though I really do love this movie. What was uh, my what was my made up sequel to the Chipmunks movie? Uh, a chip faced, something like that. Because <laughs> two was chip that, wrecked, yeah, like it was chipwrecked, and I'm like, dude, just call it chip faced. <laughs> I'm getting chip faced on this Pepsi, <laughs> bro. I'm I'm right there with you, man. Only it's right, the good so. stuff. <laughs> You be strong, Kenny. No, no problem with Pepsi. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, Ratatouille too. also a no. At what least is for me. Open the doors. Is it like a song from the movie or something? No, I think it maybe just like because I think Gusto's. I think didn't it? Clo- or it didn't close, but it was one of those that it was part of the storyline that had a fucking making their food. Of course, they failed every you know health inspection. They did ultimately, yes, but then they opened up their own their, their own restaurant. Um, but guess those was going downhill and all that kind of stuff because the guy kept trying to license out his stuff. All and right, make- we don't need the back of the DVD case. Keep scrolling. <laughs> guess ah. back. That's it. That's the, the number thirty-five. That's it. Oh. That's the last. Wasn't there thirty? There wasn't thirty-six. Okay, cool. All right, Kenny. So, shit. How is that the next one right there, Paul? Or is that the previous one? This might be the last one. Previous one. First twenty twenty. Yeah. So this okay. is the first one. So, Kenny, how many yeses did each of us have? Tesla car made it. <laughs> uh, okay, so I I had one. All right, I'm going to change my maybe to a yes. So two, three, four. I had five yeses. Paul, you had. Is that? Am I allowed to have five? That's like a lot. Just you know, as many as you want, man. Let's see where we're at. <laughs> Paul, you have... I mean, you know two. they're not making five sets. So. Right. <laughs> three. You're, you're allowed to have as many yeses as you want. You could have 35 yeses. Is it three the most that they would make? Am I, am there's, I no, there's no actual rule. Yeah, and some of those can none, be... Like, none of my like friends have ever voted for three. So. <laughs> Paul, you have three yeses. Chris has a hell no. <laughs> Chris has one. Chris has two. Two yeses. So Chris has two yeses. Paul has three, and I have five. That's exactly where I saw it landing. Also, you <laughs> forgot that Paul has an absolute no. <laughs> <laughs> I actually wrote that down. Paul has an absolute no. I have a what the fuck is this? That's uh. That's gonna be great when those turn into yeses. Like yeah. <laughs> Lego says yes to them, and we'll be like, actually, if we go to the records, Paul said. Absolutely not. Yeah, if, if, <laughs> if, they, if they change the, if they, who knows? Maybe they will change how they do the architecture line. Who knows? Okay. Um, so yeah. So my yeses, I think, were. No, I can't. I got, I'm trying to look. Doesn't at matter. It. it doesn't matter. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, bonsai was one, and uh, I still think that was. The, Sorry, like, sorry I can't Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, I could still see either of those. I could see those all getting made. They yeah, won't all good. get made, but I could see either of those getting made. Seasons in Time was the only one we said yes. All three of us said yes. Okay. Is that practical? I, th- I think it works. I think that that would maybe be the one then. I think Tune we're smart. In about a year and a half when we find out the answer. Yep. The results coming early 2021. <laughs> and then, and then, so that's the best part is that the results will come in early 2021. But then. <laughs> you won't hear anything about it for another year. And then all of a sudden it'll be like, oh yeah, you know what's coming out in three days? That clock, that calendar thing. Three days from now. I don't mind. I I I don't mind it either. I think they've gotten, it's either I stopped looking for leaks or caring about leaks or Lego got a lot better about keeping things contained. It's probably that I stopped looking at leaks in any way. I just don't, 
It does not <laughs> matter what they're making until it comes out. Everyone shares it with you, and you just you just you just blindly say, "I'm not I'm not looking at this." <laughs> no, I just I just don't go looking for them anymore. But yeah, it'll be interesting. Um, this is actually a fun conversation with Kenny because Kenny has a, a different kind of perspective. We haven't heard his perspective on the idea stuff in the past, so this is cool. Um, I will stop sharing. <laughs> I don't know why I'm still sharing that. Well, I get to say this, and I haven't gotten to say it, and it meant anything in a long time. Get us out of here, Paul. <laughs> awesome. Check out uh, Kenny Prime on Instagram. Check out Bricks and the Dollar. Um, Paul Chu won. Check out our good friend Iron. No, Iron Cloud's not on Instagram anymore. I don't believe. Uh, AG Lee thirteen, Ralph Bricks, uh, Rooster Bricks. Who else has been on the show? That's everyone as far as I can remember. Um, <laughs> oh, and, uh, do, do you still have the ideas thing up, or you close it out altogether? I still, I, I, I have it can, up. But it's can we do up. a quick spotlight of that Johnny Thunder one? Oh yeah, good call. Uh, share a screen. Let me see if I can. We we'll have to see if I can. Find it. Is the second problem. Johnny Thunder? That's what I did. Is that a new I one? Take, I didn't take a direct link there. I would just search for Johnny Thunder in the in the thing. And is that the, a new one? It's actually, actually, I don't know. It just I, it's new to me. Is this one? Yeah, the, yeah, the, the lost one. one. Yeah, six hundred and seventy-five supporters. Uh, Johnny Thunder, the Lost Temple. This is so, as uh, as Chris called it. UCS Johnny Thunder. <laughs> this is the the biggest set from the second wave, which was Amazon. And I'm down. This is, this is an MP version of that set. I'm down. I, there's so many fun things with this that I love. Honestly, you want to vote for something that's actually good on ideas? Go vote for this. Like, look I at it. I love this guy up top. That guy's awesome. All the little nods everywhere. This is this is like. It's Indiana Jones all crammed into one little tiny little thing. It's great. I love the yeah. I love these updated, updated figures. Yeah, I, I mean this, this. Just just seeing this is great. Like just the comparison. They, the love, doctor. The doctor doesn't even have to be updated. I don't know. Like I love his head as it as it is. Look at that. He's he's a little bit less smarmy, but still smarmy. That's great. <laughs> there you go. He's he, he, this one. He's a little bit less angry. But still, but still evil, you know. Curious, <laughs> oh, curious. And there you go, the uh, the Islander. Here's Achu. Oh, Achu's using that Garmadon helmet. <laughs> I mean, I would have stuck with the original helmet. That, the I like the original, one. yeah. That I one time too. used helmet. But uh, it still it, it still looks cool. It's it's a good it's a good update. But uh, but I do I would prefer the original as well. But I like the little I biplane, think. like everything about this. This is great. I dig it. I don't. I think there was a plane originally in the set. There was a, there was a big boat. I think there was a. Was yeah. there a truck? Was there a plane? It, it, like, was there a Johnny Thunder plane though? Like like plenty, a, plenty, a, yeah. plenty of planes. A couple planes. It yeah, had a, it just kind of combined. You know what? You know what? There wasn't. There wasn't a Johnny Thunder helicopter. Get us out of here, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> oh. check out rebel collectors on facebook and on instagram check out the cool table network which is a bunch of other nerd related podcasts like enter the realm brick in the mold figure banging stasis lock nerd rage radio Shattercast uncut toy detox fresh communications and verbally challenged those episodes while they may not be family friendly they are all part of a friendly family how do you remember all that script oh. <laughs> all right so so here's uh here's a little uh, fun fact um Johnny There's Thunder some... takes place in the early 1900s. The helicopter was invented in 1939. That's why there was no there helicopter was in the Adventures. <laughs> but yeah, it's Although, been like 180 episodes. I, I I got the most of that script down. It's just the the bullet points of each of the shows. I don't remember all those. <laughs> I want to say there might have been a helicopter in the Dino Island Johnny Thunder though. So fuck all what I'm saying. I don't know. <laughs> Dino 